This is my friend Lalit. When I was a kid, he bought his first Nintendo gaming console with his own saved money. And that was so inspiring to me. When I first saw the games, I was in awe and fascination and I also wanted to get one. In every summer vacation, I would cry, I would urge. But all my tries failed. I did not get the gaming console. Up until my 12th birthday, when finally my dream came true and my father bought me the console. I was so happy that I could not sleep that night. When final exams would end, I would rush to my house and play the video game for hours and hours. Today, it's been almost 13 years since I had my first video game. I broke mine after few years, but my friend had kept it in good conditions. This is that game. You can see that how much it has worn out over the period of time. Inside the box, you got the main gaming console, which is so small in size. A 9 volt adapter for the DC input and audio visual cables and these tiny controllers. There used to be two versions of these, one had 15 pins and this one has 9 pins. Half of these cassettes belong to me. Let's connect this with our old CRT TV and see how it is working. Playing all these nostalgic games felt like traveling back in time and I absolutely cherish every bit of my childhood spent playing these games. There is this theory I heard somewhere. When we are growing up, the amount of new experiences we have is so much that the time period feels so long. We feel like our childhood was longer than our adulthood. As we grow, new experiences reduce in numbers. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but my point is to have as many new experiences as we can. Playing the game was such an experience for me and it has stayed with me forever. This game took me back in time and that is my time machine.